So today I'm going to be doing the bookshelf scavenger hunt um, tag. This was created by the Library of Sarah. I will put her like info and her video in the description box below. Um, I don't think I was tagged by anyone, but you know what? I just wanted to do it. This tag is going to be quite awkward because, you know, strange angle. And also my bookshelf, which is over here, is like double-sided, kind of. So this book's on this side, and on that side, you won't really be seeing the other side because, you know, it's on the other side and it's far away. Um, and yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm going to fail at this tag because I do not think that I have a book with a key on it. Like, I'm like 99.9% .9 sure that I don't have a key on it. Or a key on any of my books. So, yeah, we're just gonna go with it. We're gonna see how we go. So, yeah, let's hop right in. Okay. The first one is find an author's name or title with the letter Z in it. <laughs> this is what is this? This is love song by Elizabeth Jolie. Jolie, whatever. Um, yeah, Eliz Elizabeth. There's the Z. Find a classic. Um, I'm gonna go with my tried and true answer to this question. This is my classic Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. I have mentioned this book in like every video I've ever made probably. You're probably sick of it. But if you haven't read it, read it. You can't see my face right now. And also, I'm not wearing sweats. I'm not. The next one is, uh, find a book with a key on it. Okay, here we go. This is not gonna be easy. This is a key, right? Like, over there? There. Is that a key? That's a key! I can't believe this. I found a key, guys. There's a key. I should be... I'm kind of stunned right now. Like, there's a key. Next, find something on your bookshelf that's not a book. Um... We'll go with this. This isn't a book. It's a book light that I have yet to use, like, to read books with. I only use it, to, you know, as a torch and stuff. So, great. It's blue, and it's from Smiggle. If you've ever been to Smiggle, cool. Next is find the oldest book on your shelf, so... Um, I think this is the oldest book on my bookshelf, I'm not sure. This is Your Bible and You, um, by Max, or author S. Maxwell, and this was published in 1959, and this book, I got this from my grandmother, so that's great. It's the only book I got from her, um, and, you know, it's really special, so, yeah. Next is Find a Book with a Girl on the Cover, so, here we go. Here's a book with the girl on the cover. This is Marble, Marble Heart by Greta Malrooney. Haven't read this. This girl, she looks overjoyed, really. I mean, it's just too much joy. Find a book that has an animal in it. Uh, I know that one. There is an animal. And here is an animal. Why wow, was I so excited about that? There's an animal in here. This is The Twits by Roald Dahl, and this has Let's see if I can find a picture. It has the roly-poly bird in it. Where are you, Mr. Roly-poly bird? Here it is roly-poly bird. This like, must be a better picture. Here! This is the roly-poly bird! Yay! Find a book with a male protagonist. Um... Here. This is The Perks of Being a Wallflower by Stephen Jabowski, and the male protagonist is Charlie. Awesome book. Read it! Next is Find a Book with Only Words on It. This is an exclusive lab by Johanna Adorjan, and it only has words on it. I mean, it has kind of like a background, but it's not a background. It's just shading or something? I don't know. But uh, wor words, this is good enough. It's, is it? It is. Tell me it is, because it has to be. Or I have this. This has words on it, for sure. This is The Wasteland by T.S. Eliot. 
The next one is find a book with illustrations in it. So this is the book, or the, you know, it's the, child, it's the Child Thief by Brum. And if you saw this in my book haul, then you would have seen, where is it? You would have seen this, these strange pictures. But there's also, where are they? There's also these pictures as well that are just as creepy. There's more of them. I think they're like before or, or at the end of every chapter. So yeah, they're really, really cool actually. Um, and really freaky. But still cool. Find a book with gold lettering. Okay. Um, we're gonna go to the other side. You can't see the other side. Here we go. This is the etymology come by Mark Forsyth and it has gold lettering and does some gold stuff all over it. Very, very pretty. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Next, find a diary, true or fictional. Um, this is one of those times when I'm like, I should have bought Anne Frank by now. This is, I love this book. This is I Capture the Castle by Dodie Smith. And this is the diary of Cassandra Mortman. So, yeah, really, really cool book. Really, really like it. And it's an awesome cover. Just so awesome. Find a book written by someone with a common name like Smith. Okay, well, here we have three books, all by Alexander McCall Smith. All of them I have not read. Find a book that has a close-up of something on it. This is a close-up of a chin and a mouth, and it's Memoirs of a Geisha by Arthur Golden. And I have not read this, but I really want to, and mwah, mwah, mwah. That's not a kissing sound, is it? It's... Find a book on your shelf that takes place in the earliest time. So... Over here... This is a Bible. So, you know... There we go. Find a hardcover book without a jacket. Here we go. Let's see this one. This is The Harlogicon by Mark Forsyth. Swish, 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 swish. Oh, snap. Look at how cool it looks. But yeah, hardcover, no jacket. Find a teal or turquoise colored book. What does teal look like? I think this is kind of teal, turquoise, right? Like the, the ocean, at least, and like here on the spine, right? This is teal slash turquoise, I think. Find a book with stars on it. Cage of Stars by Jacqueline Mitchard and I don't know if you can see but there's like stars. It's like the sky and there's like stars there. And the last one is find a non-YA book. So let's go with, what shall we go with? Here we go. We'll go with this. This is Ransom by David Maloof. It has a donkey on it that's called Beautiful in the book. And this is a retelling of the last two books of the Iliad. Um, so yes, it's super cool. And it's an Australian author, so that's awesome. I live in Australia, so, you know, cool stuff. So that was my bookshelf scavenger hunt tag. I tag all of you guys to do it if you want to do it. It is a fantastic way to get all of your books out of your bookshelf and onto the floor. Because, you know, just great stuff. So yeah, I will see you next time. Have a great day. Bye-bye. There's no coffee in here. I drank it ages ago. Yep. Let's have a Tim Tam. Do we like Tim Tams?